Good morning, Northern Michigan, and happy Friday. I'm here with Dan Brady. And I'm Janine from um, Habitat for Humanity Restore. And Dan, you have some tricks for us to get into the spring painting cleanup? The spring spirit, yes. We did this last spring, but I need to remind everybody before they get into their projects, they're opening the windows, they're starting to work on their interior trim and exterior siding is to check it for lead. And it's really easy to do. There's a little glass piece in there, you just break it, shake mm -hmm. it back and forth, it's a two component, and then press on it. There's a little oh, resin yeah. that comes out there. And then when you come down to your, this is probably trim from interior trim, what you wanna do, the key is, is the top layer is probably, doesn't have lead because it's been repainted, mm -hmm. but the lead, is on those base coats. So what I do is I cut a little V so I get down to the at, go through the layers of the paint so I can tell what's in between. And what you do is you just rub this on there. If it turns pink or reddish, there's lead. You get concerned if you're trying to strip this and you're sanding those layers okay. off and you're doing a lot of heavy sanding. If you're just going to uh, go over the top of it, you can use that liquid deglosser so you're not sanding oh, okay. at all. So but if okay. you're doing a restoration project and you're getting the orbital sander out and you're creating a lot of dust, that's what you don't want to do. And then on the outside of the house, the same thing. If you're just doing a light scrape and you're not mm -hmm. creating dust, not so concerned. But as soon as you get a sander out and you start creating dust, that's when you... Okay. And then moving over here, as you go to clean out your garage, revive the garage everybody's got you know like a million paint cans okay. old paint can a great solution for that is you can get this crud cutter makes it and it's a little powder that you pour in the paint and mix it up and it hardens it so you can throw it out in your trash can paint? you just mix it up like that it takes about an hour i did this one earlier this morning and it makes it rock hard so you can put it in your normal trash. It works for, with any water-based paint. It doesn't work with oil-based paint. So what you need to do is call your township and each township in the spring, I believe, has a drop-off day. So mm -hmm. you can go and drop off all your oil-based paint. So check with your township. They'll have a day where you can drop that off and that's how you can get rid of your oil-based paint. You can actually get this in a five gallon pail and it will harden uh, up to 110 gallons wow. of paint. So uh, this does one gallon, but if you get the fiber, you can do 110 gallons. So that's pretty much your whole garage. So if you have that half a gallon or three quarters of a gallon, harden it up and throw it out. It'll be fun. Happy it's Friday. Fun job. <laughs>